Hi everyone, it's Nikki. Welcome back to my channel, I Heart Game Dev, a channel about game development. Today I want to take a little bit of time to talk about something a little different, but still related to game development. I want to talk about how I got into development itself. How did I go from knowing nothing about coding to becoming a full-time engineer and keeping my part-time job as a fitness instructor and becoming a hobbyist game developer? Today, that's what we're going to talk about. So when I was 25, I decided that I wanted to learn something new. And that thought was actually provoked by one of my best friends who asked if I was interested in learning a program. He was just graduating from university with a computer science degree, and he said to me, hey, are you interested in learning the code? I told him, yeah, I was. So I gave this online course that he recommended to me through MIT a shot. It was a free online course, and I loved every minute of it. In fact, it's really what told me that I wanted to do this professionally. So the course was nine weeks long, and it took about 14 hours per week. That might be a lot of time, but you know, it was honestly worth it because I wouldn't be where I am today without it. I'm gonna put a link in the description so that if anyone here is interested in learning, the course is still going on, and all you have to do is sign up for the next session, and you can do it yourself. Now that course was just the first step into me becoming a full-time engineer. I also ended up going to a boot camp called App Academy, and that boot camp was 12 weeks long and taught me all the fundamentals that I needed to know to do this full time. So let's take a little bit of time to talk about the boot camp itself. What was that experience like? The boot camp was 12 weeks long, so three months, and it was 80 plus hours a week. At this point, I had to stop completely being a full time fitness instructor, and this was all I was able to focus on. All I did was go, I would wake up, I would go to the boot camp and I would learn as much as I can. I'd come home, I would do the homework that they assigned, I would study for the exams, because if you, got a, if you failed one of the exams, you were kicked out of the boot camp, and that was not something that I wanted to happen. Fortunately, it didn't happen, but it was pretty intense. For three months, that's how long that lasted. But with that being said, I learned so much. I actually can't imagine ever having an experience like that where you learn so much in such a short period of time. And of course, I did make a few friends while I was there. There was about 40 people in the cohort, and we all felt like we were in it together, trying to scrape by and not get kicked out of the boot camp. But fortunately, uh, I, I did make it through the whole boot camp. And by the time the boot camp was over, I knew Ruby and I knew JavaScript, which are two programming languages that are sought after in the job application community. So two months of the actual boot camp were dedicated to learning, and then one month of the boot camp was only dedicated to building your portfolio so that you were ready to send out applications and ready to apply into the void that is the job application process. I will tell you that the boot camp promises that you will get a job within the first year of you searching for a job after you graduate, and the job that you're applying for is supposed to have a fairly high salary. That's the promise of the boot camp. But with that being said, when you start actually applying and sending out applications, it's going to take a long time. It's going to take time, unless you know people, unless you have friends in the industry, it's going to take you time to actually, <laughs> it's going to take you time to actually get a job in the industry. And that's okay. It took me about five months to actually get a yes to anything that I was applying for. I w must have sent out 200 to 300 to 400 applications um, within the first few months and they were all either rejected or I just didn't get a response, which I think everybody says that it feels even worse than getting a rejection because then you just don't know. But what got me through that was a combination of actually still having my fitness job, which kept me sane and kept me feel like I was doing something productive. And I would always tell myself that all I needed was one yes. All I needed was to get to the yes. And the only way that that does not happen, the only way that I don't become a software engineer professionally is if I stop trying. And I still tell everyone who I know who goes into this industry in a similar fashion to me, that's what I tell them all the time, is the only way that you don't become an engineer is if you stop trying. So that's my big advice for this whole thing if you take away anything from this video. But again, after five months, I did finally get an internship. It was unpaid, but I worked on something I really thought was cool and had potential. That company is still going as a startup, and so I'm really excited to see where that goes. But I got a part-time job not too long after that actually paid me money, and that was awesome. 
And then a few months later, I had my first full-time job. I'm a React Native engineer right now, which means I work with mobile applications and I love my job. I think it's awesome. It's still something that I care about very much. And, you know, game development is something that I do now because the job that I do have rewards me with free time and stability. And that's something that I think you can never take for granted. Now, the process of me going from zero to full time was actually about a full year and a half. So I started the MIT course in May of 2017, and I got my first full time job in the industry in early November, late October of 2018. So that's just a time frame of how long it could take. I know people who did it faster, I know people who did it slower, but you know, everybody has their own, their own path and their own way of doing things. So I just wanted to take a little bit of time today to explain to you my story. I always like telling it because I think that if I can do it, then so can you. And if you can do it, then anyone can do it. You know, I, I like to have the idea that we are all very similar in that if we are disciplined and we work hard at something that we can really change our own paths and own careers and head in the right direction that we want to. I also wanted to explain it because I know that some people who get into game development don't have a background in programming. And you know, I didn't have a background in programming, but now I do it professionally. And even if you don't want to do it professionally, you can still learn how to do C sharp programming and use it with Unity. But I was just thinking that if you saw my story that maybe you could also give it a shot. And I'll put links in the description to the resources that I use. I'll show you App Academy and I'll show you the MIT course. And maybe, maybe some of the people who find this video will give it a shot and who knows, maybe it's going to change their lives too. So that's all I really wanted to say today. I know it's very different than the tutorials that I do, but those would take about a month's time each and I don't really have um, the patience to only put out a video every month. I want to put out more content. Maybe I'll make them smaller or maybe I'll make more videos like this. But for today, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. It really does mean a lot and I'll see you guys in the next video.